Yo, 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 welcome to the motherfucking neighborhood. Welcome to the motherfucking neighborhood. Today is finance. Today is finance Friday in the neighborhood. Don't mind my desk. It's a mess. Yes, I'm a mess, but I'm blessed to be stuck with you. Uh, my, my desk is a fucking mess, but fuck it. I gotta get it together. I've been running since like 7 o'clock this morning. But... Yo, 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 we gotta set the vibe for the day. Is this the vibe for the day? Man, I was, it's so many songs that came up, but I heard this one and I was just like, I'm gonna stick to it. And I heard some other songs and I was just like, ah, uh, but this one, I think we gotta let this bitch grunt. So this is the time to motherfucking get your Molly Blunt perks, uh, volumes, <laughs> Henny, tea, coffee, whatever it is you get to get your day started or wind your day down. Whatever it is that you like to do while you get some good tea, get a good little message, a good little hood sermon, bitch. Get that while I run this. Get that while I run this. Straight like that. Yo, 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 welcome to the motherfucking neighborhood. I think I'm gonna name that this video. N name this that. You feel me? Uh, welcome to the motherfucking neighborhood. If it's your first time in the motherfucking neighborhood, if it's your first time in the motherfucking neighborhood, please make sure you bring it back, bring it back to the bottom of the map. Make sure you go all the way back to the very beginning and watch the video called Welcome to the Motherfucking Neighborhood. It's just called Welcome to the Motherfucking Neighborhood, but I like the curse. Sue me. Um I gotta I'm getting on a call. I don't know who I don't know who that's from. It's a Louisiana number. Let, let me answer. Hold on. Hello? Okay. Oh, no, this is not. Thank you. 
this wasn't that. All right, all right, okay. So watch, <laughs> go all the way back to the bottom of the map. Make sure you watch from the very beginning. Watch the very first video called Welcome to the Neighborhood and, and watch from Welcome to the Neighborhood in chronological order until the point you came in on the, and the, the I, I, a lot of shit um, uh, is going on in my head right now. All right, um, all right, so that part. Uh, watch the chronological order until the point you came in on the journey. So that's Welcome to the Neighborhood, the first video, the second video, the third video, the fourth video, the fifth video, and to the point you came in on the journey. If this is the video you came in on the journey, you got a lot of shit to watch. You got a lot of shit to watch, Playboy. Um, if you came in in the middle of the journey, so what's the point you came in on the journey? Start there. The point you came in on the journey is the video that you clicked that introduced you to me, that made you say, who is this girl? What is she doing? Do I want to like, share, subscribe, or do I want to thank you next class? You know what I'm saying? So that's the point you came in on the journey. The, the video that you clicked that introduced you to me. Um, I just need you guys to know um, that we follow two people here. One actually being spirit, God, what, whatever, whatever. As for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we serve the Lord. But this is all a welcome here. Everybody, anybody who is anybody is welcome. This is a no judgment zone. And secondly, that's why I, I stopped because I need you. I, I wanted to run this song. Um, Hopefully they let me run. We follow Uncle Luke. We don't stop. We pop that pussy. And this is the song that... This ain't it either. What the fuck? That ain't what I was trying to do. I... I was trying to make it so cool, y'all. I was trying to make it so cool, but it ain't work. This, this it. It's French Montana. Yeah. If you came in the middle of the journey, we... All right, that. We don't stop. We pop that pussy. We keep going past the point we came in on the journey. This intro is just all over the place. Fuck it. It just is what it is. What it is, man. You know, it's real life. It's real life. People think we playing chess. Um, we, we go past the point we game, came in on the journey. We watched it the very last video that has up, that has been uploaded, if that's still an option. I like to tell people this is the story of a girl and guy, and you get to watch. You get to watch wherever I go. You get to watch the motherfucking journey. Um, if you came in, if you came in the middle of the journey, oh, I told you, I did all of that shit. Oh, damn, I'm tired, I'm tired. All right, if you want to know a little bit about the channel and, a, and why I am doing what I am doing, make sure you go and see a video called a thing about hope, I think. The thing about hope, the crazy thing is, I looked at this shit last night and I still don't remember. I will never fucking remember. I'll never remember. Get over it. Get over it. All right. So today is today is Finance Friday. Hope. So today is Finance Friday, and this Finance Friday is it's a little interesting. Bay actually kind of encouraged this one. He don't know that he encouraged this one, but he did or uh, inspired this one. Um, this is. Finance is in regards to relationships, and I I don't want to put Bay business out, even though I know he don't really give a fuck. But I was talking to him, and it's just like, what type of bitches was you messing with? You know, what I'm saying like, like you, you know, like, oh, like that's how I feel after our conversation. So, so don't take it personal, baby. Don't take it fucking personal. But listen. As per finances and relationships, you're, I'm not a fucking relationship guru. I didn't have some trash ass relationships. However, because I have had some trash ass relationships, I can tell you what I learned from my trash ass relationships. Listen, men and women, um, men, if you with a woman and she don't put you on game as per finances, if she don't. If she doesn't make you better, if she doesn't enhance you, if she only keeps you throttling or, or keep you in a space that keep you stuck, if she if she constantly if if you if you got a bitch who always asking you to buy her shit, take her out places, get mad throwing hissy fits because you can't because she can't get what she want, um, but you grinding and you hustling and you not financially in a place to really do that. And she and you've told her that, and she don't understand that, and she just fuck walk away and leave you and be like, you know what, you ain't shit, cause you can't fuck that hoe, straight like that, like fuck that hoe. That's it. That's all I got. I don't have no excuse for no hoes like that. Like in a relationship, you want a partner that will help you grow. And I'm not saying that you gotta have money, and that's a, that's a misconception too, because a lot of women want men who got money and shit. Like I didn't have rich niggas, and I didn't have broke niggas. You feel me? Um, 
rich niggas think they too much sometimes. It depends on the type of rich niggas and broke niggas. They just broke. Some, but it's it's not about the wealth. It's about the mentality. And that's what I want you to understand about fucking this Finance Friday. It's not about what they have. It's about the mentality they have. Because the reality is, no matter what in life, no matter no matter what, Anything can happen and the all and all the money that that person has could lose it. The question is, is they going to get it when they lose it? Like they say, they trying to take it from me. I went got it back. Like does your motherfucker when they take it from them, do they go get it back? Like you know what I'm saying? Is your nigga like I need you to pay all of the motherfucking bills like like unless that's unless that's the relationship that you have. Unless it but it's a conversation that you have. And so like, I feel like a lot of men try so hard. Like, Kevin Gates said he went broke. He, he said he was tender dick. So, and he just was tender dick by the broad. Like, buying these whole shit. And a lot of niggas try to buy whole shit to keep them or, like, or, or to impress them or to, 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 to make them like them. Fuck that shit. Like, the person who gets everything is the person who wants for nothing. You know what I'm saying? I want you but don't need you ever in life. Like, that's facts. You got a problem of pulling up. I don't ever need you. Don't ever and don't and don't you ever fucking forget it. Um, only person I need is God. Straight like that. But a lot of these people and a lot of these relationships, they're so lopsided. They're so imbalanced. And people don't know what imbalanced is. Like, like, I don't ever like women be like. I want a man that's gonna take care of me. Well, okay, so this is the deal. That's that's the thing too. Like, and I learned that in my relationship. Like, I want a man that I want. If I want a man that's gonna take care of me, I'm gonna have to live by that man rules. I moved out my mom and my daddy house because I don't like to live by nobody nobody rules. But mine, fuck that shit. Like, bitch, I'm like, no, I'm sorry, I'm not living by anybody else's rules but mine. But like, so. Finance Friday tip women if you want a man to take care of you and pay all your bills and 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 take you out on lavish trips what that mouth do <laughs> Serious no for real bitch like do you spit or swallow because if I'm paying for all these bills bitch you better swallow I, I don't want to see a drop on the floor bitch if, if that's what you're doing, like, the house better always fucking be clean. I better always have some motherfucking food on the table in the refrigerator. Because, bitch, if I'm paying all the bills and you at home all day, bitch, what the fuck you been doing? Shut the fuck up. What the fuck? What the fuck you been doing? And I know that sounds so so gross and, I, and, and, and misogynistic, and I don't mean to sound misogynistic in that. And, you know, that's, a, that's an extreme, but, like, what's the, what's the... What's the compromise y'all came to? Because we, as women, and, and it's kind of just, this video kind of to my to my playboys. Um, we, as women, like, we want all of these things, and we just think all we got to do is look cute. All you supposed to, don't know, listen, let me tell you something. Don't nobody owe you shit. That's what I'm going to name this video. Don't nobody owe you shit. And once, the moment you realize that don't nobody owe you shit, not your mama, not your daddy, not your sister, not your brother, not your cousin, like, everybody, like, don't, like, Anybody who is still on that entitled uh, uh, title wave this year, y'all gonna have a hard motherfucking year. And when you move, like, don't nobody owe you shit, it hit differently. So, like, men, understand, you don't owe these hoes shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, understand that you absolutely don't owe these hoes shit. Now, if you would like to, out of the kindness of your heart, give people women things. And there are some women that, you know, that, that like, like, really do deserve to be taken care of. But because of their spirit, not because they, not because they expect it. You know what I'm saying? The only thing is I, I expect is blessings from God because I put in the work and I think I'm an awesome person. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing. And and even in that, like God ain't got to get that shit to me. You know what I'm saying? But I expect it in a manifesting type way. But that's neither here that. That's another, that's another story for another motherfucking day. But it's like. They, and I'm going to use Bay as an example because that's the only thing I got. Bay was dating all these women and, like, I know him. And so I know he had a lot of hoes. But that's just what they, like, and I don't want to say hoes, but, like, as a woman. So this to my women. How, how, how much game do you put your man on? Like, when, when he can't, how much do you uplift him? How much do you spit, speak life into him? Like, how much do you compromise when you understand that he's trying but he just can't at the moment? You know what I'm saying? Like... Um, like, 
they had something to do and he wouldn't let me help him. And as a woman, like, I'm I'm like, because y'all know I'm a man woman. I'm like, no, I want to help. But I had to understand as a man, that's something that he needed to do for him. You know what I'm saying? And that's, a, and, 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 but we had that conversation. I said that to him. I said, I want, I, like, you stubborn, you stubborn, but I take that because I'm like you and I understand where you're coming from. But we had the conversation and understand that, baby, the help is here if you need it, if you want it. Like, I'm your, I'm, bitch, I'm your, I'm, I'm always ten toes down, but I need to know that it's reciprocal as well. Um, because I used to be ten toes down and it wasn't reciprocal. I've always, like, my DNA is rider, but I, I, I dated niggas that wasn't riders, you know what I'm saying? But even as far as a man, as far as women, women, does your man lift you up financially? Does he teach you fi financial etiquette? And I gotta give myself a compliment, bitch, you look like a motherfucking... Like, I keep saying a, a goddess, bitch. Like, a, a Venusian queen, bitch. But my ex Sharif, I don't, y'all know, I don't fuck with him no more. But forever, like, that nigga put me up on financial literacy. And I don't know that he was intended to, but he did. I was financially illiterate. He was like, why the fuck don't you have money? And he was, he was being very condescending. He didn't mean, I don't think his intention was to make me go as hard as I did. Um, but I did. You know what I'm saying? Like, he he made me feel bad about not being financially literate, which in return makes me have compassion for people who aren't financially literate. I wasn't financially literate, not because I was like, I'm not going to be financially literate. I was never with a person who had the, who, who wanted to see me grow or who wanted to invest in my well-being and my growth. Does your spouse invest in your well-being and your growth? Hello, somebody. Does your does your is your is your spouse a financial burden or a financial aid? And a person can be a financial aid without actually giving you finances. They can enlighten you. They can help you. You you that like if a person feels like they can come to you and ask you a question about something that they don't know, um, without feeling ashamed because they feel like they should have known it or they they know that they should have known it but they they didn't for what for whatever reason like you don't know people life so you don't know why they are where they are and what put them in that point or that situation you just know the, the day the chapter the moment the second that you walked in on a lot of times you just see what you see and you don't know what what pressure was behind them that made them the, into the person that they are. Oh, y'all, you already know. Let me, hold on. I got to Y'all, y'all got to y'all know I got to fucking clock in, beat. So, um, so I definitely, I'm definitely about to dip. Definitely can't stay too long today. But, um, that's a real thing. Like, how much does your spouse pour into you? How much does your spouse encourage your financial growth? How do you and your spouse financially plan it? And you don't want to be with somebody who with you just for the money either. Like, because it's not about the money. Like I said, I didn't have rich. I didn't have broke. I didn't have medium. Like, it don't, the money to me, the money don't matter. What's your mentality? If you lost everything you had today, would you sit on the couch? Would you just depend on me? Would you want me to carry the burden? And sometimes, and, sometimes, and even so in those relationships, sometimes, like, it's, it's, it's always going to flip-flop. Sometimes the, the man might have to carry the burden because of whatever. Sometimes the woman might have to carry the burden for whatever, but... Personally, I think it shouldn't be always unless that's unless th that's the agreement. But if that woman does carry that burden, what are you? What are you, sir? Sir, you know how are you contributing? What what are you doing in aids of the relationship? Because let me be let me be trill ent. A lot of a lot of bitches ain't gonna say this, but a woman that gotta carry a man like, and he don't do nothing at all. Like he don't like he literally just sit on the fucking couch and don't do shit. Like, but dirty up the fucking house. She's going to resent him no matter how much love was there in the beginning. There has to be an even exchange. It's like going to the ATM and taking out my, one of my homeboys, Dorian, told me about this a long time ago. He he told me, I, that's one of the lessons he told me I had to learn when I was in law school. He was younger than me. I like, I love him, man. He was young, young gangster. He, I don't, he didn't make it through law school. Um... But I think he had a different calling. But I, it was definitely meant for me to meet him and be very good friends with him. But he was like, Leanne, he said, your problem is you are you are a spiritual ATM. And he said, people come and make withdrawals and they never make deposits. And he said, you be so mad when you all the money. But you know, you it's your own fault because you allow people to make spiritual withdrawals without putting nothing into you. Same for relationships. Don't let people... Make any type of withdrawal if they're not putting anything in it. It doesn't have to be the same thing. It doesn't have to be. It, 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 it might, somebody might be giving you finances and you give them energy. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, like it, it don't have to be money, but what's your mindset? What's your mind frame? Like, and is the person willing to learn? Or is it are they one of those stubborn ass people that's like, uh uh, I don't I a woman can't teach me shit. Somebody younger than me can't teach me shit. A man can't teach me shit. I know how to do everything. If if you know how to do fucking everything, then why are you in this place? You know what I'm saying? Like, you always, everybody, as long as you're alive, you're growing. And if you're not growing, you're dead. Be like that sometimes. That's a that's a real thing. Like, you ever seen a, plow, a, a plant that's not growing? If a plant ain't growing, what's wrong with it? Why want it grow? Unless it's a seed. Then it's probably, it's growing. <laughs> but if a, if a plant has stopped growing, it's dead. Right? Right. Just, just, just saying my friend. So, like, <laughs> that song just to my baby. You should let me love you. Let me be the one to give you everything you want. And need, and I ain't taking on no more projects. I ain't taking on no motherfucking people who just broke and don't want to be fixed. Or who just broke and don't understand. When I say broke, I'm not even talking about financially. I mean, it's a lot of motherfuckers out here spiritually broke. And I'm not ever getting in a relationship with a spiritually broke person because a spiritually broke person will drain you not only financially, they will drain you mentally, and they will drain you emotionally, and you will be completely depleted, and you won't have shit to get to yourself. Hello, that's a Finance Friday message, bitch. Zed part, Zed part, but um, like, how men and women, how are you entering into relationships? And we can all talk about because I I came up like that. Like if you ask my homeboy Vince, like when he first met me, I was like, money not important, and it's still not important to me. But I understand money is a necessary evil. Like I'm not ever gonna do shit just for the money because I don't really give a fuck. Because like I'm always taken care of. You feel me? I'm always, God God will supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory. And understand that his riches and glory does not always mean monetarily. He'll put a person in your path. He'll put an opportunity in your path. He'll put a piece of food in your path. So his riches and glory, don't don't get stuck on the, on the earthly realm of what we think his riches and glory is. Because God, God, you know, there's that. But, like, I, I can't, I can no longer give myself to someone who is not open to growth, who who is spiritually poor, who has a spiritual deficit. Because when you have a spiritual deficit, you have a financial, like everything else falls. And you ain't gotta believe, like it ain't it ain't saying you gotta believe in God or, or, or but you gotta be, we gotta be on the same page a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> a little tay -tay. We gotta be on the same page a little bit. So this Finance Friday is more of a, folks, when you're, when you're entering relationships, Sit down and have, like, I know they uncomfortable conversations, but they real conversations because if you don't have them and if you don't avoid them, um, then ultimately that, that relationship will never, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come up, but it's going to come up in the wrong way. Um, talk about finances. Is your partner, is the person, and people like, like, and I, and I said before, and I, and I renege on that, that you can't be in a, a relationship if you're not financially where you want to be. That's not true. But. The person that you're with, y'all need to have a conversation. I'm not financially where I want to be, but I'm working on it. I really am working on it. And I know I should be there now, but but I'm not just yet. So, you know, are you willing to deal with that? Can you, can, you know, can you, are you willing to teach me? And that person has to decide, you know, and, and, and it goes by versa, but vice versa, because sometimes where you're, where you're strong, your partner's weak. And I think that's a, that's a healthy balance. That is the epitome of yin and yang. Uh, it's it's what, what what I lack, you have strength, and where I where I have strength, you lack. And that that way we balance each other out. But you have to be real about those things. If you're not honest about those things, and they just pop up along the way, like like you're gonna have a a a a a, a big problem. Like set the expectations for your relationship. Have that conversation once, so you don't just. Don't waste my time just so you don't waste each other's time. So you don't get two years down the line and you see that this nigga a bum-ass, dusty-ass, fuck-ass, dumb-ass nigga who don't want to get off the couch. Or you see this bitch is an old gold-digging, uh, two-bit whore <laughs> who don't want to do nothing but get fucked and get money. And, and she think, but, and, and that's a thing too. If, that, if you're okay with that, that's okay too. But the question is, what are you okay with? Like, but you have to know what you're okay with. 
So you got to check yourself before you wreck yourself. You got to be in tune. And shout out to Lulu I Love from House of Oshun. You got to be in tune with your motherfucking star player. Who are you? What are you okay with? What won't you accept? What will you accept? When you realize what it is that you, what, that you deserve, you won't take less. Hello? And the motherfucker won't, like, won't even approach you because they know your standards. Or if they do approach you, they know how to approach you because they know they know what they know who they fucking talking to. Like, oh, I can't. You, I already know I can't go say that shit to her. She gonna, she, she gonna fuck it up. Or, oh, I already know I'm not even about to play with him like that because he fucking nah. You know what I'm saying? And 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 for a long time, that's something that I didn't do. I didn't have expectations because I expected everybody to be like me. Wrong answer. Not real life. Not real life, my friend. It's not real life. Fortunately, but unfortunately. But, but sometimes in life we stumble across people and you won't know if a person is like you unless you sit down and have that conversation. And you will know by the conversation. If a person not really willing to have that conversation with you for whatever reason, if anybody make an excuse why they can't have a real financial conversation with you or they can't talk business with you, fuck them. Fuck that hoe. Fuck that nigga and fuck that bitch. Finances are not everything, but if you really want to make it in this life and 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 and, <laughs> and 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 just you know just have a certain type of peace of mind because you already know um, everything we do in this life is for peace. Shout out to the motherfucking peace dealer. Um, hey, peace dealer, you fucking playing around. We need to do business like ASAP. I don't know what the fuck you doing, but you need to make some moves, playboy. Um, <laughs> anyways. Um, I'm, listen, I'm trying to hustle. I'm trying to get this shit. Like, it's, it's the energy. Everybody's talking about the energy is motherfucking moving around. I think Venus went into fucking Capricorn today. What is it? Hold on, I wrote it down. Uh, Venus went into Capricorn today and Mars is in your uh, Taurus. Bitch, I don't know. But it, it shit work for me. People talking about it. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't know. All this shit, all of the stars aligning in my favor right now. Like, I feel Gucci. Um, so, I'm just silently hustling. Um... Oh, Pluto is also going into Scorpio. I got, uh, I'm Pluto, I'm Scorpio rising and I have, like, I got, I got, I need to talk to somebody because I don't fucking know, but I have, like, two signs in my first house. But my first, I got Scorpio and I got Pluto in my first house too. So, bitch, I got Pluto and Scorpio. So, it's just, I got some, I got some questions. Like, I told you, I'm still, an, I'm an astrologer or astrologist, but I'm still learning. Um, but, yeah, Venus in Capricorn and Mars in Capricorn and Mars in Taurus. So we got some planetary shit happening as well happening as well. Um and I let's get this fucking money. It's 2021, let's get this fucking money. But that's neither here nor there. Um and you need a you need a, a party that supports you. Like like and that's the thing like with Bay I've dated guys and like they be on some other type shit. Like Bay just mo like he motivate me. Just interest like as a human, not for business, not for not for Oh, I gotta run. Um, not for, not for like gain. He just hold on. I think somebody got it already. Um, but. Not just, like, not because he wants anything from me or he wants clout or anything. like. He just loved me as a person and he just, he just wanted to see me win. And that's, that's really what I need. Like, he just, he, like, he, like, especially like with my, with my fitness goals, he knows that I, he knows that I really want to work out, um. Like he knows that I'm I'm sticking to that, and he he motivate me not because like he he does benefit from it, but he know that I want to go. Like he knows that that's um all right, bet um he know that that like that's a he know I'm a go getter, and so he just be like, hey hey that nigga my that nigga my hype man, you know what I'm saying? Like that's what like, but what do you need? Like and and you already know I don't need the motivation, but it's nice to have my nigga on my just. As my nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, and he ain't never, like, on no pressure. But, like, he don't question what I'm doing. He already, he be, he believes in me. And when you believe in a person, you don't, it, 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 it hit different. You know what I'm saying? So, like, what type of person are you looking for? What type, the best thing I never knew I needed. That's him. That, you know what I'm saying? Um, But 
What what type of person do you want to be with? Like, all of that shit affect your motherfucking finances. Who you have around you affect your motherfucking finances. So, the people on your team, the people around you, like, if they if they let you hurt, if they watch you hurt, like like Kevin Gates say, they see my hurt, my, my pockets hurting, you know, won't reach out for nothing. Won't, won't, niggas, if a nigga see you hurting and won't offer to help you, won't nothing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, look at them differently. Like, or, or if they know you hurting and they still taking and taking and taking and taking, they, you know, move around. Just assess who you have around you. Assess who is taking from your ATM and putting into your ATM. And just because they're, they're like, and, and it don't have to be the same thing. Man, I, listen, trade, let's, let's barter. You're, you're taking this that you need, but you're giving me this. Um, and I'm not like, it's, it's, it's human. It's natural. Like if a person is, is taking something and this, then they're, and they're not, is, if a person is getting something taken from them and they're not getting anything back, then trust me, trust me, it's going, um, it's going to turn out tragic. I needed you drastically. <laughs> you wasn't giving me the Lord Jesus. You said that you have for me. Like, <laughs> what's his name, boys? You know what I'm saying? So, this has been Finance Friday. I got a motherfucking run. Um, Because, shit, duty calls. Duty calls. I like when you say duty calls because duty, cause duty calls. Like, poop. <laughs> so, um, one of my things really quickly... Um, so I, I do have my waist trainer on. So I talked to my trainer uh, and well, my fitness coach, and he was saying like, waist trainers do work, but they're kind of counterintuitive because if you use them when you're working out, then they support your core and they don't really give you the core workout. But if you wear them like around the house, shout out to motherfucking Corey, of course. Um, but if you wear them around the fucking house, All right, bet. Um, if you wear this, if you wear them around, wear it around the house, it still kind of it, it forms your body. But if you use it while you're working out, it, it takes away from the workout. So I got my waist trainer on. Um, I got my tea, my water. Um, I had like I drank my protein. I got like the massive shits today. Um, I'm gonna take us out on some motherfucking um, fucking sweet love by fucking uh, Anita Baker because oh, I've been listening to that. You bring me joy. Listen, that's where I met with my life. Um, listen, it's Finance Friday. Be careful who you partner with, people. Does is your partner a partner that really can that really helps you and that can really come through for you? That really that really you know is a partner. Is 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 exactly what you need. And don't settle. Like trust me, it's okay to be alone until the person that you that God got for you got for you. But if you take what somebody give you, then that's often what you're gonna get. And then don't be mad because you got what you took. Everything that I got in my relationships, I allowed it and I accepted it. So I can't be mad at it. Like, I can't be mad that a nigga just took my money and dipped because I gave him my money. I can't be mad that a nigga just abused me and cheated on me because that's what I allow. So when you stop allowing those things, then only then can you allow the good things to come in. Like, this last year was a year of emptying out. Emptying out of, of negative mind frames. Emptying out of old people. Emptying out in the destruction of old, of old structures that no longer longer could exist in this new world and this and this new age and this new you that you have walked into bitch check yourself before you wreck yourself like do you li are you living a life that you want to motherfucking live because if you're not the only person who fought that is is yours so with that being said i just I, y'all you are you already know i got a motherfucking run i don't want to leave i don't want to leave but i i forget because this one is not plugged in it's not um linked to my to my uh youtube the one downstairs is so usually my searches everything i search come right up but not on not on here find you a sweet love you know and i'm just so grateful because like i i ain't will, like I, <laughs> It's a lot of people going through a lot of things right now, but I'm so in the midst of all of this shit, man. I'm so fucking blessed. And another trick for people who don't, who wanna, they be so confused on how I get music and shit on my things. There are songs that you can use that YouTube provides by these artists that you can play. Some songs you can't. So look, they got a call YouTube Radio. Look that shit up. Look that shit up. All right, guys, it has been Finance Friday in the neighborhood. You already know I gotta run. Happy motherfucking Finance Friday. Get you a good partner. Stop niggas. Stop letting these bitches use you. 
Bitches, stop being fuck ass bitches. Bitches, stop letting these niggas use you. Niggas, stop being fuck ass niggas. That part. <laughs> Be like that sometimes. Be like that sometimes. Your partner is a reflection of you. If you have that part. a puzzle and osteoporosis and a high risk for fracture, now might not So if your partner a fuck ass nigga, yourself, so are you. Am I bone strong? Life's full of make or break moments. That's why it's so important to help reduce your risk of fracture. It's like a skip, but it won't let me skip. There we go. This is my shit. I'm about to eat my lunch, work, wait for Bay to text me. Y'all have a blessed day.